first, I strongly suggest that you have a Nintendo online membership, the one that's like 20 bucks American a year or 25 Canadian a year. Go to system settings, go to data management, scroll down to save data cloud, scroll down to settings. I have mine for automatic backup on and download on, but go down to advanced save data settings and make sure you turn off. As you can see there, it's grayed out. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, turn that shite off so that when you back it up, okay, hit options, saved data cloud, and then you would select back up save data. Do that if you can before you even begin that thing that we're going to talk about. So that's your first minute right there. Very crucial. Now we're going to get into it. I'm going to start off with my normal mode. And I'm going to play with my autosave. Because ideally, you don't want to muck around with your hard save on your normal mode. Generally speaking, like this one's untouched. There's no glitches. There's none of that funky monkey stuff going on. So I'm going to load my autosave here. And we're going to take our time. We're not going to rush. I'm not going to speed rush. And then fast forward the video times 80. And then only ending up having to put it on slow motion like Matrix style. And then having to replay the goddamn video 20 times. It's bullshit. Why do YouTubers do this? I don't know. Really quick. First of all, let's get close to a, uh, a vendor here. Don't you worry about a thing. I'm going to show you I'm balling. Okay. You see that? 124 orbs, which is the most that you can have. Functional without soft locking your game. That's another video from somebody else, not from me at this time. Korok seeds. Doesn't matter if you've got multiple stacks of that. Don't worry about it. But when you're playing around and you want to bring things over, you want to make sure that you've got zero spirit orbs none it doesn't play nice or it'll be grayed out and you'll have multiple stacks of it grayed out and you won't be able to use it whereas i've never had that issue with korok seeds when we overload the menu and we start transferring items over from like let's say normal to master mode which i would show you how to go about doing it without actually me doing it because i don't want to muck anything up first things you've got to realize here because this is a complicated thing see all these different things here okay from the very right, at the very bottom, the travel medallion in this case, is item number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You get the idea? And that's important because let's say you're doing a one way trip and you want to bring over to master mode or another save, you want to bring these two bad boys right here okay well you would have to do one two three four five six you would have to do six ghost slots whatever the hell it's called okay six copies so that when you go to your new save however many fake items we're dropping is how many are going to go over so we're going to do six okay to bring these two over and how you do that is actually fairly simple. You're going to maybe perhaps have to look up a video how to get a bunch of multi-shot bows. Multi-shot literally includes anything that's two and above. I don't care if it's two, three, four, five, uh, LMNOP, whatever. Okay, it just it doesn't freaking matter. And you don't need to aim the bow either. Just whip it out just like that. Just pull it out. You know what I'm saying? Show it off. Now pause the game. It's equipped. Great. We're going to drop that equipped bow. And we're going to go to another one. And we're going to equip it. We're going to back out. We're going to pause it. Watch Link. We're going to drop it. The equipped bow. Equip a new one. Back out again. Pause it. Drop it like it's hot. Equip a new one again. Back out. You're going to do this until Link 
disappears completely and all you see is his melon head. If he looks half messed up and you're seeing different body parts, just redo it. Just, just redo it. There's things with an elemental thing that you can do. I don't have that crap. Just, just redo it. This really doesn't take long. Maybe grabbing a few of these bows can be a little boom. Bada boom. Look at that. What's up with Link? Exactly. Now that we're here, we have now overloaded the menu. This is overloading the menu. Now we're getting into the IST, the item service transfer, or whatever the hell the Hylian, Hylian, Breath of the Wild community calls it. Okay, how the hell do I explain this? So we wanted to do six items, but you can actually only do four at a time, then we got to reload the menu. Because you can only ever hold five items at a time, right? That's all you can ever hold. But that fifth one has to be empty because you're just going to drop it. So you can do four at a time, just four at a time. We're going to hold four unique items here. Okay, here we go. So hold. One. Two. I'm moving over each one. Three. Four. See how it says four out of five? Now we're going to back out. Take your time. Don't panic. Pick up all your shit. Okay? I do, and it always works. Other people don't. I don't care. Now, those four items that we held, what we're going to do is we're actually going to sell them, and that's what causes the glitch. So we held one of these four stacks. So we're going to sell all of these, and that's going to create four copies of... Whatever item one, two, three, four is that I explained a moment ago, right? So we're going to go in order. I doubt that that matters, but we're going to do it anyways, and we're going to do all of them. Okay, sell it. It's going to go down to zero. Not a problem. Move on over to the next one. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do all of them. Again, same thing again. We're going to go to the next one. And do that, select all of them, and get our gold or rupees or whatever the hell it's called, and uh, do the last one here, which is 15 rupees. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to back out because we can only do four slots at a time. But I told you that we needed six technically. I'm doing a second set so that you see what that looks like. If there was only between one and four things you wanted to copy, we would technically be done. We would just transfer over and that would be the end of that. But we're not done. We're going to have to do this now. So now that we did four, see how he's still holding something, but he isn't. You see that? We're still at four or five. That's also how you know the glitch is working. Now, go to another unique item that you haven't held yet. I'm going to pick the Swift Carrot, and that's going to complete the 5 out of 5. Now we're going to back out, and we're just going to plop it, okay? And that's it. So now we're done for the 4. If we were done here, what you would do is hit the menu, and then you would just go to the... Um, to the title screen, and then you would go to, like, let's say, Master Mode, for example, and then now you would have copied 4. But we don't want to do that. We actually want to do this again. So go ahead, pick up your carrot. I don't think that that really matters. And now what we're going to do, as you can see, we're normal again. But we wanted to do uh, six, remember? Because we want to do one, two, three, four. And we wanted to bring five and six. And remember, however many slots you copy here, six, when you go over... That's the one-way trip, and then you just go to the uh, title menu, you load your master save, but a boom, you're in. It copied over these six items, but then if you go right back to the title screen again, and then you come back over here, you're going to bring back whatever six item slots, one, two, three, four, five, six, were on the other one. That's where you got to be careful, okay? And if you're just doing a one-way trip, when you bring it over to master mode, for example, and you got what you want, you didn't want to bring anything back, well, then save your game and then exit completely. you got to shut the game down when you're done overloading the menu because we're still technically overloaded right now. Okay? So we've done four items, right? Uh, let's play around with uh, just four other unique items. Let's do, 
let's do these four or yeah, let's whatever. Let's do these four right here. So we're going to go ahead and re-overload our, uh, our, blah, our thing here. So remember, pull out the bow. Hopefully I didn't lose you there. Because that was all that rambling. Okay, so we whipped out the bow. It's looking good. We're going to drop the bow that we've equipped again. We're going to equip it. A new one. We're going to back out. Drop the bow. Equip a new one. Back out. Drop that bow. Equip a new one. Back out again. Drop it like it's hot. Pick it up. It's usually the same amount of times that you got to do this. Usually. Ah, perfect. See how he looks all funky? And you're like, oh no, what do I do? You can usually whip out an elemental rod or you can just calm down and you can just repeat it. I've never, ever had to repeat this more than once. So we're just going to take our time here. We're going to drop it. Equip a new one. I don't need to keep repeating what I said the first time. Plus, it's tripping me up. <laughs> there, you see? Now we're in business. We got a floating head, no hair. Again, now we would only want to do two. So we're going to go ahead and click X, and we're going to hold these two. Earlier I said four. That's if you were doing eight. Too much math. We want to do six in total. We've already done four. You can only do four at a time again because that fifth one's that placeholder that you're just going to drop. So we're going to go one, two. The sun shroom and the zap shroom. Now we're going to back out. Take our time. Pick up your bows. Hey. We're going to go here. We're going to sell the two items in this case. It was the sun shroom and the zap shroom. So click on the sun shroom. Sell all of them. Okay. And now we're going to do the zap shroom. All of them. Yes. <laughs> now we're going to back out. Back out. Never mind the small talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Now we're going to pick a third item again. You could probably redo the carrot. I like to just pick something I've never chosen before. The Endura carrot. And that's now our third one. We don't always have to max it out, remember. Okay. And then again, we back out. You drop it. From here, let's say this was your final run. You do not have to pick up the carrot. This is where you would go here. Okay. And you would return to the title screen. I actually don't want to do that because it would muck up my stuff, but pretend that, that I, that I did it. And what I'm going to do is, um, close the game because that, that removes everything. So even though like we had to redo that overload each time, like for every extra set of four items you want to do, even though you got to redo it, if you just keep loading saves, you're going to screw things up really, really bad. And I'm going to play in master mode, and I'm going to just prove to you, essentially, that this whole thing worked because both my normal mode and my master mode both have the full shebang. Okay, they've got full Korok seeds, they've got full, full-on orbs, so I obviously did this right. You can even see it at the top right, 124 orbs. There's a video on that. It's $9.99. It's a little bit complicated. This video would be an hour. We're already at 15 minutes, which is like quintuplet the amount of time other people do it. But I had to watch their video like 15 or 20 times. So we take our time. Okay. As you could see, haven't really done anything at all in the game. And when we move over, look at what we got. So, so pretend I went back to the title screen, okay? Just pretend, like I told you, you don't pick up that last carrot, right? And you just went back to the title screen. You swap to master mode. Pretend I did that. Now we're here, okay? 
And then boom, this is what happened. Okay. And then let's say you're like, oh, this is good. I'm happy with this. I transferred over the items one way. This is where you would now save your game. You would hard save here in master mode, for example, which I clearly have already done because I just loaded the save. And now you're happy. But the reason I'm sharing with you this extra step, which isn't going to confuse you. See, when you're getting the stacks of orbs and Korok seeds, there's a weird funky thing you do with master mode. And then you end up with a stack of 999 uh, Korok seed. And then you'll do that thing that we just did on normal mode. You'll come here. You'll just look and go, oh, that looks cool. Literally just go back to the title screen and then go back to your normal save. And that's how you bring back. It's like a boomerang effect. You're throwing it out, but it's coming right back at you. And that's why you got to be careful with the orbs. Once you start doing the orbs, the Korok seeds, you don't really have to worry about that. See, because now if I just went to the title screen again, went back, remember how we did six items in total? Well, now it's coming back. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you would literally be bringing this back. Okay, and you don't, you don't want to do that. With the Korok seeds, maybe, but the orbs, just you got to be careful. I just wanted to share that with you, okay? So we overloaded. We chose how many slots we wanted to bring over so that everything would carry over here, right? And then if you're satisfied with this and you're not bringing anything back, just go ahead, hard save right now. But if you were boomeranging, to bring back because you're bringing back orb because chances are you're going to be doing this to get the full Korok seeds and orbs. I mean, the reason I was able to get it in my normal mode was by first getting it in master mode, right? You can't do it essentially without the DLC, I don't think. Okay, so now if we're done, then you just close your game again, and that's what you would do. So I probably confused you a little bit. And that's kind of okay. I can try and recap. You don't have to stick around for the recap. Okay. So. There are videos out there. And it's complicated. Where you can get a stack of 999 spirit orbs. Or 999 Korok seeds. I haven't been able to do both at the same time. I've had to restart two new master mode files. One master mode for Korok seeds. Got that out of the way. Boom. Check. Then I went and did the orbs on a fresh new master save, right? Did the glitch, got the 999, did the boomerang thing like I told you where we overloaded the menu, right? We did the six item thing, remember? And then I came here, we just swap, we just go back to the title screen, come to this game, look at it, that's cool, back to the title screen. Essentially all you're doing is just loading the game really quick. You're just saying, hey, I'm here. And you're just quickly returning to the title screen and then you're going back to your normal mode. And that is how you end up with this shit on your normal mode. Okay. So you just, uh, I don't even know what else to say. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to make this video any longer than it has to be. It's already pushing 20 minutes, but I wanted to take my time and share that with you. So there was a point where I got really confused and frustrated and almost completely gave up. But here I'm showing you the proof that it is possible to do this and have full seeds and spirit orbs functioning for both your normal and your master save. And then you never have to worry about that again. Now, when it comes to duplicating weapons and adding stats and making 60 meals and the 61st meal adds the, the you know, the stats to your weapon. Oh, I'm not getting into that stuff. This here alone broke my, my brain in half. Oh, sweet baby pineapple. Anyhow, if you liked the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. It does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm. Um, if you didn't like the video, I don't really care, honestly. Go ahead, give it a thumbs down, and I'll just uh, bend it in half and twist it. And I'll break it off in your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, obviously that would be great now. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. I'll try and do my best if you got questions. I'm no expert. I just started doing this yesterday. I'll do my best to try and answer questions that you may have if you've attempted this 
and it's not working. Okay? Take care. Bye for now.